So I'm box the Samsung Galaxy C5, so I did the unboxing of the C7, you can check it out on my channel. Um, let's see here, a uh, very similar box, just like the Galaxy C7 here. Uh, so let's uh, first uh, quickly cut the seal here. Okay. And let's peel off this plastic. Full plain white box, and I think this is uh, the gold color. So let's just open the box, and this is how the phone looks like. Lift this one up, and uh, very similar look again, like a one plus three from the back. Um, antenna band going around, and on the front you can see that. Pretty nice display, home button is there with the fingerprint sensor. So let's just put this one to the side and then take a look here at the content of the box. So this uh, will include the quick start guide. Um, okay, this is in a different language, but it has English. Uh, we do have the SIM clipping tool. We also got the charger. This is the fast charger, the normal USB 2.0 cable, no type C, and headphones. There we go. Let's take a look at the phone. So, pulling off the plastic, we go back and front. Okay, and uh, we're gonna remove this speaker on the back so that I can give you a full look of, of, of the back side. So, again, a full metallic build quality looks really premium, feels really premium in the hand. Um, I always wanted to have this metallic build quality Samsung phone because, uh, you know, I do have the Galaxy S7 here just for a quick comparison, but this is glass, okay, so look at the spots, and I mean it's premium, but I'm not that much of a glass fan, so yeah, uh, metallic build quality is a little bit more better, so let's just boot this one up, and uh, Again, you got everything at the bottom, the charger, uh, the speaker, and the 3.5 mm headphone jack. Uh, the port on the right side, along with the micro SD card tray slash SIM card tray. It does have dual SIM capabilities. Uh, and this is the volume rocker. On top, we got the clock with sticker alongside the microphone. So this is actually the uh, Snapdragon 617 variant. C7 has Snapdragon uh, 6.5. Uh, still, uh, the uh, RAM is 4 gigs of RAM and the storage is 64 gigs. So let's just uh, quickly select the language here. And uh, also, for the price, this one costs around 45,000 PPR, uh, which is uh, $450, $456, um, at least where I live. And uh, the official uh, warranty variant might cost a little bit more, but again, this device should be available in your nearby official mobile stores. If it's not available, then it will be pretty soon. Just be patient. And I'm just gonna go through the setup here real quick. I don't want to set up the fingerprint sensor right now. Um, pattern, nope. I don't want to do it right now. Skip. Skip anyway. Next. Okay, so um, you can see this is a 5.2 inch 1080p display, Super AMOLED HD, so you get all those nice colors and stuff like that. Android 6 going to bring one marshmallow, um, pretty nice stuff I gotta say, very similar to the Galaxy S7, and uh, we'll get Android and of course it's a new Samsung phone, so uh, we have some nice features here and there, you can capture screen, which is a quick way to capture the screenshot. All the forest thing, one of the other stuff is there. I'll be making videos about the pixel pick. Uh, game launcher plus radio is there. So now it's confirmed that it does have radio application. And uh, also diving straight into the settings, uh, bringing the about device section, confirming that it does have NF6.1 launch mellow. Um, it's gonna quickly launch the camera. Uh, this is again a 16 megapixel camera on the back that can record up to 1080p so we can also confirm that 
um, yes, it can record up to 1080p, so which is uh, which is good. But again, 4K could be more nicer. But again, this is not a full flash extension phone, so that's why we don't get everything. So um, okay, so I was wrong. This phone has uh, 32 gigs of internal memory. The C7 comes with 64 gigs of internal memory. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that. Uh, so 60, uh, 32 gigs of internal memory. Uh, you got like 24.56 GB of available uh, space. So sorry about the mistake, but uh, maybe there is there will be like a 64 GB variant of this phone available somewhere. I don't know, but 32 GB is here, and I think the C7 is coming with 64. Uh, but it's uh, of course gonna be expensive. Um, there will be like hundred dollar difference. So. That's that. Uh, we do have the SIM card tray for storage expansion, so not that much of a big deal. You can see that there is a little bit of border, or like black border on the side. Yeah, it's a very thin border, but anyways, it's a great 550 uh, to ramble display. Snapdragon 617 with 4 gigs of RAM should be a device that will fly through the benchmarks and gaming and applications without any problem, but I will be testing that out completely doing the speed test and all that stuff, we'll be comparing it to the S7 and some other phones, so please stay tuned for all those awesome videos, so catch you guys in the next one, peace out.